So this is 3.9, 3.9, number 37. Where are the numbers? There are no numbers. Actually, there are numbers. You just don't recognize it. E is a number. Those are constants. This tells you your variable is y. That's your variable. What's confusing you is you're thinking, why is that? Is that the function in chain rule? That's the function, right? No, g is the function, y is the variable. If you take the derivative, you're finding the rate of change of v over the rate of change in y. So y is your variable. I bet you if I wrote like this, you'd be less confused. g of x equals e to the x times x to the e. Now it doesn't look so bad, right? Now you recognize it better. That's just exponential function, and that's gonna be power rule. But you need to be used to things written differently. Your variable isn't always x. In this case, your variable is y, and that throws you off. You need to get used to the fact that variables are just variables. You can call it anything you want. So what do we have? We have two functions. Let me clear that. Y equals e to the x and y equals x to the n. This is actually that. Do you see it? Your variable to a number. Your variable to a number. E to your variable. This is e to your variable because variable is y. So you need to recognize what it really is. Part of the problem is recognizing how to do these and what it is. You have to see that and you have to process and say, what is the E? What's that Y? What are those? What do they represent? So this is a product rule. You have two things being multiplied. So I leave the first alone. I take the derivative of the second. The second's a power rule. E comes in front, subtract one from the power. So E comes in front, subtract one from the power. Plus the derivative of the first, I am my own grandpa, and you leave the second alone. So that is the calculus. The rest now is algebra. So let me trip you guys out here. There's an imaginary one on that E e to the first power. How do you multiply these two? You add exponents. So that becomes e to the y plus one. You add exponents. And we have y e minus one plus e to the y, y to the e. Now the rest is weird stuff. We're gonna factor out common factors. We will do one at a time to make you less confused. First, you should notice they both have an E. So we will factor out the E first. But how much do we factor out? We have Y plus one there and we have Y there. What do we do? Huh, if I have X to the fifth minus X to the one, no, X squared, how many x's do I take out? Show me with your fingers. I see two. Why two? Because it's the smallest amount in common. So we're going to do the same thing here. What's smaller, y plus 1 or y? y is smaller, right? So we're going to take out y. This is weird to you guys. Rarely, I don't know if we did this in pre-cal or if we did this in Maybe algebra two trig may have done that, but here's the question, what's left? So this times this better equal that. So I know I need a y to the e minus one, but here's a question. I need e to what power? Again, this times this must equal that. Well, that's taken care of. So in other words, e to the y times e to the box must equal e to the y plus one. That times that must equal that. So those two must equal that. 
So clearly, what does this box have to be here? Show me with your hands. One, because you add exponents, right? So that needs to be one. So that's going to be a first power there. And we can double check that. Let me erase all this. Double check. That times that, does it get you that? And the answer is yes, because you add exponents. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we took that e to the y out. It's gone. So we're left with y to the e. So here's the next question. We notice they both have a y. So now we're going to take the y out. How many do we take out? We take the smaller of the two. Which one's smaller? E minus one. So we're gonna take that out. And what are we left with? Well, if we take that out of that, we're left with the E plus, uh-oh, what is that? We need to figure that out. So how are we gonna do that? There's a lot of stuff going on here. Hang in here and we'll get there. So double check this times this, excuse me, this times that gets you that. So we're good. This times that must get you that. So y to the e minus one plus y to something equals y to the e. So this times this, Ooh, times, not plus, times, Yoshida, times. This times this must equal that. Well, what must box be? One, because you add the exponents. E minus one plus one is E. So that's the one. So let me erase all this. We know that's a one. Now, that's probably not the answer in the back, right? Here's what they probably would have done, my guess. I don't know for sure. They make this e to the y, or y to the e, and y to the negative 1, and e plus y. So what did I do? You add the exponents. That plus that is that. What happens to the negative? It moves to the bottom. So I get e to the y. Whoopsies e to the y, y to the e, e plus y, and that y moves to the bottom because the negative exponent says move to the bottom. I don't know what answer they have. It could have this answer, could have that answer, could have that one, I don't know. But that's a few ways to write the answer. Let me stop this video.